back to my channel. My name is Allison, and for today's video, we're doing a total body Tabata strength routine. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified with the latest fitness videos released every Mondays and Thursdays. All you need for this workout is a pair of moderate or heavy dumbbells and a mat. We'll be completing four different Tabata circuits containing only two moves each. Each circuit will be 20 seconds on with a 10 second rest. We'll repeat each move four times for a total of four minutes. All the exercises are strength-based, so make sure to choose a weight that's challenging for you, but enough that you can keep good form. A warm-up band cooldown is not included, so make sure to do this on your own. So let's go ahead and get started. Here are your two moves in circuit number one. For the first exercise, you'll need one heavier weight. We're starting off with a set of goblet squats. Now hold your weight comfortable. For me, I like to have it in the flat part of my palm, holding it vertically. Have those legs in a nice squat position, slight flare out with the toes. Engage the core. Think about dropping that tailbone straight down into a deep squat. Come up on top, squeeze the glutes, keeping the knee soft, and then repeat again. Down, and then lift and squeeze. The second move is a set of dumbbell thrusters. Grabbing two weights, have those feet a little narrow than shoulder width apart, palms facing in, elbows tight. Get a slight bend in the knees like you're sitting back into a chair. Inhale, exhale, extend up, drive those fists up to the ceiling. Slowly bring it down, building the energy. <sighs> exhale, press. To modify this, you can do alternating arms and reduce the range of motion when it comes to that thrust.
lock number two, we're down on the ground. So if you have a mat, go ahead and set it up. We're starting off with a set of renegade bicep curls. Now I'm gonna go back with my heavier weights, going into a high plank position on the toes or the knees, keeping those hips steady, curl up, set it down, and then other side. Here's that knee version, dropping the knees, continuing that curl. For the second move, we're doing a set of reverse flies. I'm gonna stay in a kneeling position and actually take one foot forward for a little extra stability, other knee on the ground. Keeping the spine long, hinge forward, palms are facing in, come up, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then bring it down. You can modify this by doing alternating arms instead. Here are your two moves in circuit number three. 
Starting off with one heavier weight, we're doing a single leg Romanian deadlift to upright row. Now for this one, every other set will alternate sides. Palms facing in, stagger the same leg back, or kickstand, however you like to call it. Palm facing in, pinch forward for that deadlift. Feeling the hamstring behind that front leg. Come up, simultaneously upright row. Nice and smooth, inhale down, keep the knees soft. Drive that elbow up. For your next move, we're doing squats to alternating outer thigh lifts. The weights are totally optional, but if you have them, you can place them on your shoulders. Sink low for the squat, come up, push up with that base leg, extend the other leg out. Take it down and lift and squeeze the glutes. Here's the version without weights. Quarter squat instead, shorter range of motion, hands on the hips. Because 
For the fourth circuit, we're back down on the ground. We're kicking off with a set of chest fly with hip bridge marches. Grabbing your heavy weights, lie all the way down on your back. Extend those arms up. Now, while we do this, we're going to fly, lift the hip, bring the knee up, bring it down, and then repeat other side. Your goal is to keep that core engaged and the hips nice and steady. If you're not feeling that hip bridge march, focus on the flies instead. Your second move is going to be all about core. No weights are needed. We're going to lean back and do some knee tucks. Extend those legs, hands are down, inhale, exhale, pull those knees to the chest, extend out. The greater the move and the lower the legs, the more challenging it is. But if you need to modify this, feel free to keep the heels on the ground and do alternating knees instead.
me that workout. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified with the latest fitness videos released every Mondays and Thursdays. If you have any workout requests, please leave a comment in this video. My name is Allison. Thank you so much for working out with me, and I look forward to seeing you next time.